Thick Fairy Tales. Serena and Celine. Once upon a time, there was a pretty girl named Serena. Her mother died when she was young, so she lived with her father, but he usually worked far from home. Serena is a very hardworking child. One day, the father wanted to remarry. Sweetheart, <gasps> I want to remarry. I think it would brighten our home and I think it'll make you happier too. If you're happy, I'm also happy, father. Then Serena's father married another woman. The stepmother took her own daughter, Celine, with her. In contrast to Serena, who was beautiful and hardworking, Celine was ugly and lazy. Later, the father set out to work far from home again, and he would not come home for a long time. Only one day after the father left, the stepmother showed her disdain for Serena. She made Serena work all day. Her daughter, Celine, was super lazy. She never did anything. At night, Serena had to sleep in the messy kitchen and eat some pieces of hard bread. While the stepmother and Celine slept on a warm bed in the house, the cold winter quickly came. The stepmother gave Serena a thin coat and a big basket. Put this coat on, go to the forest and pick up a full basket of apples for me. I'm craving apples. But mother, it's winter now. The snow is very thick and there's no apples in the forest. <gasps> yes, there are, I tell you. If you can't fill the basket, don't you dare come back home for dinner. This crusty piece of bread is your meal for the whole day. Come on, go right away. But mother, it's too cold outside and this coat is too thin. Could you please give me a warmer coat? This coat is warm enough for you. You ask for too much. Hurry up and go. Serena had to put the thin coat on, held the basket and went to find apples for her stepmother in the cold. Serena wandered in the forest. Snow covered the ground everywhere and there was not even a leaf on the trees. Along the way, she was trying to find apples, but she couldn't find any. She started shaking because of the cold. Suddenly, <gasps> Serena saw a huge old apple tree in the middle of the forest. The tree had no leaves, but its trunk was shining brightly. The light made Serena <gasps> curious. She slowly touched the trunk where the light was shining. Then, Serena was taken to a very beautiful place with fresh green grass, beautiful trees, and flowers. She found herself standing in front of an old apple tree, which was full of ripe apples. Serena was very surprised and amused by the scenery. She wanted to go around and take a look at this wonderland. Seeing Serena, the old <laughs> apple tree smiled and waved to her. Hello, beautiful. Who are you? And why are you here? Hello, sir. My name is Serena. I went to pick apples for my stepmother and I got lost here. Everything here looks so beautiful, so I just want to take a look around. Then let's shake some branches and the apples will fall into your basket. Serena agreed to <laughs> shake the apple tree. A lot of ripe apples fell down. Soon, the basket was full of delicious apples. Why don't you try my delicious apples? Serena picked up the apples and ate them. At the very first bite, <laughs> she felt refreshed and energetic. Serena thanked the apple tree and continued on to explore the fairy world. Wow! Who is baking bread that smells so good? Serena kept walking and she saw a huge oven. The bread in the oven was giving off its tasty smell. Hello, beautiful. Who are you and why are you here? Oh, you're a talking oven? I'm Serena. I went to pick apples for my stepmother and then got lost here. Everything here is so beautiful, so I just want to take a look around. So could you help me take the delicious baked bread out of the oven? 
Serena immediately opened the oven to take the trays of freshly baked bread out. Soon the table was full of many delicious bread. Thanks, you're such a kind girl. You can try my delicious bread. The oven happily thanked Serena and asked her to try some bread. Serena agreed. She tried the delicious bread and found herself full of energy. <laughs> Serena said goodbye to the oven and continued her way to explore the Wonderland. This place is beautiful, but also very strange. I've gone a long way, but I didn't see anyone. Oh, wait, is that a house? It looks friendly. I wonder if anybody's home. Finally, Serena saw a lovely little house in the middle of the meadow. A beautiful Snow White fairy was waiting outside. Hey, beautiful girl. Who are you and why are you here? Dear ma'am, I'm Serena. I was finding apples for my stepmother in the forest, but I got lost here. I am a snow fairy, and this is my world. You can stay here with me and help me do the housework. I will pay you for it. You just need to clean the bed and shake the blankets carefully for me to make the feathers fly out. Only then it will snow in the real world. Then you can live happily here and have everything you want. <laughs> Thinking of the miserable life with her stepmother, Serena decided to stay there. The Snow Fairy welcomed Serena and invited her to eat delicious bread and ripe apples. Ma'am, the meal is so good. The bread and apples are very delicious. That is because you helped the oven and the apple tree. Therefore, you deserve a delicious meal every day. <laughs> every day, Serena had tasty bread and apples to eat. Every morning, she always got up early to work. When the Snow Fairy left the house, Serena tidied up her bed very well. Serena shook the fairy's blanket very carefully so the feathers <laughs> flew all over the room. Then the snow fell and winter came. Serena never forgot to help the apple tree and the oven in her spare time. That was why everyone here adored her. A year flew by quickly. Serena began to feel sad and homesick. Serena still got up early every day and worked hard to help the Snow Fairy. The Fairy always treated her very well, but she still felt sad because she missed her house and her family. Serena, is everything okay? Why do you look so sad recently? You're not happy like before. Ma'am, it's very good here. I am satisfied. There is nothing bad. But I miss my family so much. Can I go back home? Your stepmother treated you very bad at home. But you still want to go back? Ma'am, she is still my stepmother regardless. The Snow Fairy heard Serena's answer and she felt very touched. Her tears turned into snowflakes, falling to the ground. Even though she did not want Serena to return home, she still let her go because that was what Serena wanted to do. The fairy was very sad to say goodbye to Serena. You've been living here with me for a year. I've really enjoyed your company. So before you return, I have a gift for you. The Snow Fairy's gift was a heavy golden snowfall. <laughs> All over Serena, her clothes and hair were covered with sparkling gold. Thank you so much, ma'am. This is a great gift. It is a reward for your hard work and effort. I will also give you three more things. You will become more beautiful and a piece of gold will fall out when you speak. Lastly, a young, handsome king will marry you. Serena <laughs> excitedly thanked the Snow Fairy. She said goodbye to her and went back home. Serena also said goodbye to the oven 
and the apple tree. As soon as she touched the apple tree, she was brought back to her house. Serena was very happy and looked at her house and walked in. <laughs> the stepmother and Celine were very shocked to see Serena returning. She looked very beautiful in her new golden fancy dress. The stepmother asked Serena what happened. Mother, I was... Serena opened her mouth and then a piece of gold fell out right away. Celine and her mother were even more surprised to see the gold falling from Serena's mouth. Serena told them the story. When she finished, the ground was filled with gold. Mother, I want to be like Serena. I want to find apples. Get me a big basket. All right, let me prepare your clothes for the trip. The mother prepared warm clothes for Celine and lots of bread for her to eat on the way. Celine walked in the cold, snowy weather. Celine wandered in the forest to find the old apple tree which Serena had talked about. She was shaking because of being cold and scared of being alone in the forest. But thinking about Serena, Celine felt very jealous, so she tried to continue. Celine finally arrived, and she was very happy to see the magical apple tree shining brightly. Celine imitated Serena. She touched the apple tree. Then she disappeared and reappeared in the fairy world. She stood right under a magical apple tree. The apple tree cheerfully asked Celine, Hello, girl. Who are you and why are you here? Hmm, you're just an apple tree. Don't talk to me. You can shake the tree so ripe apples will fall into your basket or they'll just rot. Why do I have to do that? What if the apples fall on my head? Then Lazy Celine left, leaving the rotten apples to fall on the ground. Celine kept going and saw an oven giving off a fascinating smell. The oven saw her and happily talked to her. Hello, who are you and why are you here? You're just an oven. Don't talk to me. Can you please help me take out the delicious bread from me? Or they'll get burned. Why do I have to do that? The bread will burn my hands and I'll become dirty. Besides, I already have bread to eat. Then, Celine left the oven behind, leaving the bread burned in the oven. Finally, after eating all the bread she brought, Celine arrived at the Snow Fairy's small house. The Snow Fairy waited outside to welcome her. Hello, girl. Who are you? Why do you come here? I'm Celine. I came to meet the Snow Fairy and asked her to make me more beautiful and wealthier a hundred times. I am the Snow Fairy, and this is my world. Ta-da! If you want to be beautiful and rich, you should stay here with me to help me with the chores. And I will pay you well. What will I have to do? Is it hard and tiring? Because I'm allergic to chores. Very simple. You just have to make my bed and shake the blankets for me. They're soft as a snow flurry so that the feathers can fly out. Then it will snow in the real world. You just need to do that. And then you will have everything you want. Okay, fair enough. Then the snow fairy welcomed Celine with burned bread and rotten apples. Ew, you think humans can eat these? That's because you didn't help the apple tree and the oven, so that's your food. Celine was very hungry. So she had to eat the food. The next day, when the sun rose high, Celine was still lazy and didn't wake up. When the fairy returned home, lazy Celine was still sleeping. <gasps> After many days like that, the snow fairy finally decided to send the lazy girl home. I don't need you to work for me anymore. Go back home right away. What about my reward? I want to be beautiful and rich. Yes, this is your reward. The fairy took her wand out 
and made Celine's outfit become very raggedy and ugly. That was the goodbye gift from the Snow Fairy for Celine. That's the reward for your laziness. I also have three more things. You will be uglier each day. Whenever you open your mouth, a toad will jump out and you will be punished. The fairy harshly punished Celine for her bad habits and laziness. Celine ran away in fear. Celine finally got home. Her mother was very shocked to see her daughter with an ugly look. Mom, please help me. Celine opened her mouth and Toad jumped out. She and her mother hugged each other and cried. One day, a young king passed by the house. Just seeing huh? Serena, the handsome, strong king fell in love with her for her beauty. <laughs> he offered to marry Serena and bring her to the palace to be the queen. Serena agreed and went to the palace with the king. Serena's father returned home shortly after. When he knew the story, he angrily kicked the evil wife and Celine out of the house. Serena and the king's wedding took place with the blessing of Serena's father. Then they lived happily ever after. <laughs>